the Leonardo, Leonardo. Wow. Can I show you I've got lipstick on your teeth? <laughs> Actually, I might have had lipstick on my teeth, so that's awkward. The intro might have lipstick teeth, whatever. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with the Leonardo DiCaprio book tag. It was created by Ginger Reed's Lainey, and I was tagged like two years ago by Sarcasm Persuasion. So I will leave both their links down below so you can go check them out. And I thought that I would do this because he finally won an Oscar last night. I thought that it was important to honor this milestone in life because nobody thought it would ever happen, and it's finally happened. You now have an Oscar, Leo. Congratulations. So without further ado, let us get started. The first question is Growing Pains, and it is a book that you read before it became famous, overhyped, or popular. And I actually don't have an answer for this because I always read books super late after they come out because I'm cheap and buy my books from thrift stores, so all the books that I get are like two years old. So, I'm doing one that I think should be more popular. Which is technically the last question of this tag, but you know, it's fine. It's fine. And I am picking Daddy by PJ Ferguson. I've talked about this book a lot lately. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. It was so good. It started off super slow and then it just all the plot twists come in and it's such a good book. It's about a man named Joe Williams. Something tragic happens in his family and he has to rely on these 12 jury members to either serve justice or not. Honestly, if you can get your hands on it, seriously, find a way to get it. Go on Amazon, contact PJ, I don't care, but read the book. Question number two is Tobey Maguire and it is what is your favorite book best friends and I am going with Nathan and Gabrielle from Half Bad by Sally Green. I love them as friends. I think they are so good together. I think that they are so cute together and they obviously really care about each other and it just makes me a very happy camper. And I cannot wait until Half Lost comes out because I just read Half Wild this month and it was so good. The third question is Kate Winslet and it is your favorite OTP and I'm sure you all know who I'm going to pick because I pick this every single time. It is Natalia Stolfi and Bryn Lockhart from Upside Down by Leah Riley. Nobody has read this book. Again, it's just like Daddy by PJ Ferguson. Find this book and read it, please, because it's actually super cute if you're into, like, contemporary romance -y stuff. It's a very cute book. Read it. Natalia and Bran are, like, complete opposites, like an opposite attracts kind of thing. They just work really well together, and I really, really love them. Question number four is Titanic, and it is a book that made you cry. I don't know if you all know this, but I don't usually cry at books, so when I do cry, it's, like, a big... Thing. And so I am going with the only book that I can think of that actually made me cry, and it is Slammed by Colleen Hoover. I have a review of what I thought of it. I'll leave it here if you want to look at it or not. It doesn't matter to me. But I think I gave this book like a 4 out of 5 stars, maybe a 4.5. I don't remember. But I loved it. I cried at one certain part when the slam poetry came. I love the slam poetry. I like really need to look into more slam poetry. Question number five is Martin Scorsese. It is an author whose books you will buy no matter what and I am going with Sarah Dessen. I've never actually read a Sarah Dessen book but I own like seven of them. Why? I don't know. Every time I see her books I'm like I need it even though I don't know if I even like her writing style. Logic of Jan doesn't make sense. Question number six is Victoria's Secret Models and it is a genre that you will always go back to and I'm going to pick YA just because I know that it's safe and I know that I enjoy it, so it's usually what I fall back on if I don't know what I want to pick up. I'm just like, yeah, just grab a little YA contemporary and I'm probably going to like it, so why not? Question number seven is have the character that always makes you smile, and I am picking Zuzana from Daughter of Smoke and Bones by Lainey Taylor. I thought she was hilarious. Everything that she said made me crack up. I love the banter between her and Karu. I thought it was so funny. So she's definitely my character that always makes me smile. Question number eight is every Leo character, and that is your favorite complex character. I'm going with Joe from You by Caroline Kepneys. I loved him. He's so creepy, and he just made me so happy all the time, which is totally messed up. I'm gonna review about this book super soon, so y'all can check that out if you want. But Joe was so amazing even though he's super creepy and would not want him in my life but I enjoy his character a lot. And the final question which is not really relevant anymore is Leonardo no Oscaro but it's not true anymore yay! And it is a book that doesn't get the recognition it deserves and I am going with Reconstructing Amelia by Kimberly McCright. I don't know a lot of people who have read this book but it is such an amazing story honestly try to find a copy of it. It's an adult book, I'm pretty sure. 
It was one of the first books that I read during like my booktube career. If you want to call it that. But I give it 5 out of 5 stars and it's one of my favorite books. It definitely does not get the hype that it deserves because it is so good. Hey guys, so that was the Leonardo DiCaprio tag in honor of him finally winning an Oscar. I don't know if y'all want to do this tag, but if you do, you're tagged. So do it if you want. And I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. Martin Scorsese. I'm probably saying that wrong.